dark night of the soul. Let's begin by setting our intention on this black candle. So, on behalf of your highest, wisest, most empowered and aligned self, in loving comfort and perfect balance, I wish to conduct this Reiki session to support you in this dark time, to help empower you, and to send you love. I intend to help you find hope in this seemingly hopeless time. Please feel free to use this flame to set your own intention based on whatever it is that you're moving through at this time. And as long as that intention that you set serves everyone's highest, wisest selves, then we'll honor that intention and see it through time and space to wear and whenever it's applicable. Here you go. Perhaps 
perhaps dissolved. And the word why continues to surface. The dark night of the soul is similar to the tower card, Pharaoh. It is the ultimate shedding of our past selves. You know when people say once you see it, see it. This is, I think, the kind of energy that the dark night of the soul has. It's a time of great revelation, where much truth is being uncovered. And if you're brave enough to look at that truth, there are so many beautiful, empowering things start to shift in your life. As we move through this, I want to remind you not to gloss over the pain in favor of seeing the lesson. When we try to lessen our pain by seeking lessons, diverting and it can block our process, our processing of the emotions, our deeper understanding and wisdom that comes from these times because it can block us from feeling it right now. And while sometimes it feels too overwhelming to hold, it's incredibly powerful and incredibly important that we do hold it. I'm clearing any thoughts that are coming up here. So if you'd like to clear something, feel free to blow it into the smoke. Blow it into the smoke. Painful, and I really want. 
This energy is really big. It's like big shifts. Big moments of epiphany. Clarity. So if you're feeling like you're getting a lot of downloads, if you're feeling like you're kind of more triggered,
And I think you've really tapped into 
of this time. So looking at a stone like this and some of the others that we'll use today, hopefully this can inspire you to just stay the course, be kind to yourself, really care for yourself at this time. I think one of the most, my necklace is cut, one of the most important things that we can do for ourselves as we're feeling these things and moving through these things is really to create that space in the most loving and compassionate and kind way possible because we can so easily judge ourselves or invite shame into it or question what we could do better, you know, and while this questioning what we could do better is a whole separate conversation, the most important thing for you to do here is nurture yourself when you are in this place of just demolition of your past self. There's so much new energy that's poking through that's so fragile, and so nurturing that is going to be key for you. Key. Okay. So I'm going to move through with this clear chords, inviting a sense of purity, inviting in this sense of like clarity, kind of untangling. Because at this time it can start to feel really tangled and really confusing. So I just want you to know that we can parse through these things. Everything will become more clear, but it takes time, so trust and hope are your, your best friends in this situation. Okay, love, hand me your right hand, and let me move through your palm with the stone. Thank you. Let's do the same with your left palm. Good. That's good. Okay. I'm going to invite in um, our amethyst. So I'm going to be using both of these stones. I'm 
to shift me. 
means allowing the release, which can be really hard. Now I'm placing my hands on your solar plexus.
are so much more resilient than you've ever had to be, you know, so you can do this, you can move through it, I know you can. you find yourself in, bring to heart one thing for which you are grateful. 